So this is the third part of my lecture series for solvable groups of trigonometric integrals. Um, the first part of this series, we talked about how to integrate powers and products of sine and cosine functions with add powers. The second part of which we talked about powers and product of sine and cosine functions with even powers. So if you missed that out, you can just check out the description box below to watch those videos. So for today's video, I'll be showing you how to integrate <clears throat> integrals of the forms integral of tangent to the m of u du, integral of sec secant to the n of u du, and integral of tangent to the m of u, secant to the n of u du, where m or n element of positive integers. So for this group of integrals, we have to recall that the derivative of tangent x is secant squared x, the derivative of secant x is secant tangent x, secant x tangent x dx. And for this group of um, integrals, we will be using the identity tangent squared x plus 1 equals secant squared x. Okay, so this take the case where m or n pass uh, an even positive or even or add positive integers. Okay, let's have some example. Say we want to integrate tangent to the 6x dx. Okay, so by principle, tangent to the 6x dx, uh, we take the case where m power of tangent is equal to 6, which is an even positive integer. Okay, so we all know that the derivative of tangent x the derivative of tangent x is secant squared x. So when you see a tangent function on your integrand, so you need to look for a secant squared that will go along with dx. So we will be using this identity. Tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x minus 1. Okay, let's get it done. So technically, tangent to the 6x, I will factor it out as... Uh, tangent to the 4x times tangent square x dx. So that makes tangent to the 6. And then again, tangent squared x can be written as tangent or a secant squared. Secant squared x minus 1 dx. Okay. Again, do not forget that the derivative of tangent x is secant squared x. So what comes next is to introduce tangent to the 4x, each term inside the parenthesis, leading us with tangent to the 4x, secant squared x dx minus integral of tangent to the 4x dx. <clears throat> okay, as you can notice on the first term of our integrals, then there is tangent to the 4x and then dx go together with secant squared x. So this time this is already integrable since we can let u be equal to tangent x and its derivative is secant squared x dx. For the second part, so that's integral of tangent to the 4x dx. So again, we can rewrite it of this form. Tangent squared x and then the remaining tangent squared I will rewrite it as secant squared x minus 1 by the same identity. Okay, and then I will just rewrite the first part, tangent to the 4x, secant squared x, dx. Okay, so, and then you repeat the process. You introduce tangent squared x, each term here. So, leading you with integral of tangent squared x, secant squared x, dx, and then this is one is negative, another negative, so that's plus integral of tangent squared x dx. Again, as you can notice, the, the second part of the integral is tangent squared x secant squared x dx. This is already integrable since we have tangent x on the integrand and dx go together with secant squared x. All right, and then I will just rewrite tangent to the 4 x secant squared x dx okay so continuing the process as you can notice <clears throat> you will just repeat as as 
the power of tangent, an even power of tangent, increases, then you will just repeat the process until such time you only have secant squared x on your integral. So, plus this tangent squared x can now be written as secant squared x minus 1 dx. And then I will just rewrite this part. Integral of tangent to the 4x secant squared x dx minus the integral of tangent squared x secant squared x dx plus the integral of secant squared x minus 1 dx and i think uh, every everything is integrable so in the integral of tangent to the 4x secant squared x dx you can now assume u be equal to tangent x and its derivative is equal to secant squared x dx so this is of the form u to the 4 du this one is u square du and then uh, this can be written now as integral of secant squared x dx minus the integral of dx okay so we can now integrate the first term would have been equal to tangent to the 4x secant squared x dx can be now written as tangent to the 5x over 5 and then the second term integral of tangent squared x secant squared x dx is equal to tangent cube x over 3 and then for the third term that's integral of secant squared x dx is simply tangent x and then the integral of negative 1 dx is simply negative x and then you can now add c so this is now this is the integral of tangent to the 6x dx is equal to tangent to the 5x over 5 <coughs> minus tangent cube x over 3 plus tangent x minus x plus c okay so one good observation one obvious observation here is that <coughs> as you can notice on the power of tangent this 5 3 1 okay and it's, it just decreases and starting from 6 minus 1 so that's m minus 1 so one one obvious observation is here is that for you to easily integrate okay so one obvious observation here is that when the integrand contains tangent only raised on even positive integer so its integral takes on the series of tangent with alternating sign raised to an add power less than m so here m is equal to 6 so m minus 1 is equal to 5 so tangent to the 6x dx can be written as tangent to the 5x over 5 and then alternating sign plus minus tangent cube x over 3 plus tangent x and then the last part will be x and then it will take on the sign negative because the third term is preceded by positive sign and then you can now add c okay that's it so again if we compare this with the long method so that's tangent to the 5x over 5 minus tangent cube x over 3 plus tangent x minus x plus c okay let's have some more say we wish to integrate tangent to the 8 say integral of tangent to the 8 2x dx okay so here m is equal to 8 and we have to take note that the derivative of 2x is equal to 2 okay so we just write 2 or one half in front and then open parenthesis and then this takes on the series of tangent starting from 8 minus 1 equals 7 so we have one half tangent to the 7 2x over 7 and then again the sign is alternating then plus minus tangent to the 5 2x over 5 plus tangent cube 2x over 3 minus tangent x and then tangent 2x sorry that's 2x and then you close parenthesis and then at the end you, you can now add or minus 
or subtract x. So this time, we'll be adding x since the term preceded preceded by x is negative and then you can now add c the only thing left to do is to introduce one half so we have 1 over 14 tangent to the 7 2x minus 1 over 10 tangent to the 5 2x plus 1 over 6 tangent cube 2x minus 1 half tangent 2x plus c plus x sorry plus x then plus c Okay, so in general, if you want to integrate tangent to the m, ax dx, where m and a element of real number and m is a positive even integer. Okay, so in general, the integral integral of tangent to the m a x dx equals the summation of negative 1 raised to p times 1 over a times 1 over m minus 2p minus 1 times tangent to raise to m minus 2p minus 1 of ax and then plus or minus c depending on the value of the term preceded sorry this is x plus or minus x then plus c depending on the sign of the term preceded by x where p runs from 0 to k and k is equal to m minus p over oh, so sorry that's m minus 2 all over 2 and p runs from 0 1 2 running until k so that's it so another example is that when m is add take the case of integral of tangent to the 5x dx <clears throat> so this time when m is add, we will factor out secant u tangent u and then we will change the remaining tangent into secant using the identity tangent squared u equals secant squared u minus 1. Okay, so we have integral of tangent to the 4x, secant x, tangent x, and then originally we only have tangent to the 5x so this is tangent to the 4x secant x tangent x and then we need to multiply this by secant raised to negative 1 of x and then dx so this product of function this product of secant and tangent makes tangent to the 5x and then we will just arrange this one and then we will replace tangent to the 4x by secant squared x minus 1 raised to the second power so tangent to the 4x can be written this way tangent squared x square then times secant raised to negative x and then secant x tangent x dx we all know that the derivative that the derivative of secant is secant x tangent x you have to recall that the derivative of secant x is equal to secant x tangent x dx and this tells us that we need to express tangent squared x in terms of secant x so we have tangent squared x according to the identity is equal to secant squared x minus 1 to the second power then secant raised to negative 1 of x secant x tangent x dx so as you can notice everything is now written in secant x with the derivative secant x tangent x dx so we can now let u equal secant x and its derivative du is secant x tangent x dx replacing everything by u we have secant squared x is u square minus one square all right then u raised to negative one and then secant x tangent x dx is our du and then the next step is to expand u squared minus 1 leading us with u to the 4 minus 2 u squared the square of the first 
plus, twi plus twice the product of the first and the second, plus the square of the second, then u raised to negative 1 du. And then the only thing left to do is to introduce u raised to negative 1 each term here. So we will have u to the third power minus 2u plus u raised to negative 1 du. And then integrating, we have u to the 4 over 4 minus 2u square over 2 plus u raised to negative 1 du can now be written as du over 2, du over u, sorry, and that takes ln of u plus c. And then again, writing back to the original variable, we have 1 fourth replacing u by secant x. So we have 1 fourth secant to the 4x minus 2 over 2. You can cancel it out. So minus secant squared x plus ln of secant of x plus c. So that's it. This is the integral of tangent to the 5x dx. Okay, so let's have another example. So this time we take the case where n is even greater than 2. Okay, so we have integral of secant to the 4 2x tangent 2x dx. So this time the, the rule is when n is even greater than 2, we factor out secant squared u and then change the remaining secant into tangent by using this identity. So we have secant to the 4, 2x can be written as secant squared 2x. Then I will just copy tangent 2x. And then the other secant squared, I will write it beside dx because I know that the derivative of tangent is secant squared 2x. And that tells us to replace secant squared x by tangent squared 2x plus 1, copy tangent 2x, and then copy secant squared 2x dx. Again, uh, when you integrand would have been tangent squared 2x plus 1, tangent 2x, secant squared 2x dx. <clears throat> so, still when you simplify this, uh, product of tangent secant that will make tangent to the 4 2x tangent 2x dx so we can now let u be equal to tangent 2x and its derivative is equal to 2 secant squared 2x dx and then again take note of this this is secant squared 2x dx and we need to avoid this 2 by multiplying one half on each side of the equation. So that's secant squared 2x dx. Okay, then we need to replace everything here by u integral of u square plus 1. And then this one is u. And then secant squared 2x dx is our one half du. And then we can now introduce this u each term inside, leading us with u cube plus u du and then integrating we have one half times u to the 4 over 4 plus u square over 2 and then you can now add c so the next step is to introduce one half each term here and then we will be replacing u by tangent to x so leading us with 1 over 8 tangent to the 4 2x plus 1 fourth tangent squared 2x plus c. And there you have it. The integral of tangent to the 4 2x tangent 2x dx is 1 over 8 tangent to the 4 2x plus 1 fourth tangent squared 2x plus c.